what a pleasure it is to be in the house of the Lord. For we know we have no hope apart from Jesus Christ. We have no peace apart from Jesus Christ. And we have no future. So right now is our chance to celebrate our hope, our peace, and our future. Because we have our Savior. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, whether you're here in the sanctuary with us or watching days, weeks, months down the line, we just want to pray a special blessing over you this morning to unburden your hearts and ready your mind for the Spirit to move in this house today. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give you praise and honor for how good you are to your people. Your mercies are new every morning to the just or the unjust, to the saved or to the unsaved, Father God, because you are so merciful and consistent, Lord. I ask now in Jesus' name that you will draw all hearts to you, that as they listen to the songs, they do not just spectate, but that their soul participates. And they give you the credit that you are due, Lord God. And they begin to see you in their daily circumstances and situations, Lord God. I ask that you will realign our eyes to you. Make us ready for the message, for the lesson, whatever it is that you want to impart in us today. Let us be willing ground, willing soil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, 2023 is already here. Open the windows of heaven. 
off like me and uh, <laughs> I want you to greet one another in the name of the Lord amen you know amen. It's, it's a brand new year some amen. brand new blessings are upon the way God is about to turn some things around amen and we believe it that's why we sing it so we give him praise amen hallelujah amen.
is no other word we give him praise today how many standing on the promises of the Lord you know God's Hallelujah. promises are yes and amen. amen and there is a song here that says we shall not be moved amen out to us today father god lift those hands with me father god we thank you so much that you're a god you are a god even the times when we are moved when we fail but you shall not be moved god come on now he's our rock rock of ages the rock that will stand forevermore and we give you praise today Lord bless your people God they say this mountain can't be moved they say these chains will
believe. Come on, lift those hands. You said it is done. You said it. I believe it. You said it is done. You said, Lord, you ministering 
the Spirit of God right here in this room. Jesus said, if you would only believe, only believe, hallelujah, only believe, and we believe this morning, God. Break the unbreakable, God, we believe, and he believes, we believe, God, we believe, for and from the impossible, the impossible, a miracle, oh God. See a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Waiting on you this morning. Break the unbreakable. The unbreakable. You are the God of the impossible this morning. We believe. We believe, Lord. I believe. Because you said it. You said it. With every voice. It is done. It is done. It is done. You said it, Lord.
unto me. All ye that are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. That's his word this morning to us. Come unto me. We stand here in your presence, Father. Laden and burdened. Some of us sick. Some of us needing your touch. Some of us, oh God, laden down with heavy burdens. Some of us, oh God, needing a touch in our faith. Some of us calling upon you, oh God, for healing. Some of us calling on you for deliverance. Some of us waiting on you for a long lost miracle. Some of us, oh God, pleading to you to save our loved ones. Some of us pleading that you would just move into our hearts, moving into our lives, move into our situations. For we know, God, when you come in, it will be done. We know that when you come, the immovable will be moved. We know that when you come, the impossible will be made impossible. We know that when you come, that stubborn sickness will have to go. We know that when you come, that the long-awaited healing will come. We know, Lord, because we know you said it you said when you say it it will be done your word shall not return unto you void but it shall accomplish the purpose for whence it is said you do not speak in vain you are not a man that you should lie oh hallelujah we believe this morning we believe this morning Lord that you will heal and you will make it well hallelujah we give our burdens to you this morning every one standing on this altar we lay it at your feet father we give it into your hands and we ask lord that you would take over take over father take over lord take over and bring the relief bring the deliverance lord bring the miracle that we have waited for lord break the unbreakable lord move the mountains from the people's lives this morning and set them free we stand in faith before you before you lord we are here bowing down lord in our hearts crying out that you would do it you are well able. Ah, we are your children. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Are you the redeemed? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord claim the victory. For he has said that he will do it. Amen, amen, amen. I want you to leave that burden right here this morning. Leave it at the altar before you return to your seats. And go back in faith that the Lord has heard you. And he has answered your prayer. And he will bring that deliverance. Hallelujah. Right now, right now, Father, infiltrate this atmosphere, Father, pervade this sanctuary. Let your presence fall, oh God. Let your spirit take over, my Father, in the name of Jesus, and make the, unmo the impossible come true for your children. Hallelujah. It will break. It has to break. For when the Holy Spirit of power moves in, it has to break. The failure must leave. 
the adversaries of God's blessing has to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise. You have come and you have prayed and you have laid your burdens at the altar. Now would you give him the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you have to believe that God is able. You have to believe what you ask for, you shall receive. Yes. You have to believe that when you give it into his hands, he will take care of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our God is well able. He is able to deal with every situation, every sickness, every circumstance, every failure, every lack, everything that we have need of. Our God has the answer. Oh, praise your name, Father. Praise your name. You are our God. Who is like you, God? Who is like you? There is none like you. None, none, none able to do what you are able to do. Who can take a failure and turn it into victory? Who can take my sickness and bring wellness? Who can take my lostness and bring freedom? Who else is there like our God who can raise the dead? Who can open the blind eyes? Who can heal the broken limbs? Who is there, I ask you, who is there like our God? There is none like him. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is evermore the all-powerful, almighty God. He is our almighty. And he is the one that is doing battle on our behalf. So we praise him and we lift him up. Come on, church. Lift up the name of Jesus. For he is deserving of our praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sai, I need a victory song this morning. I need victory in the house, don't you? We need to celebrate our victory. Hallelujah. Come on, Sai, take us there. We didn't have a victory song, but we, oh, we yes. have a song of victory. We have a song of victory. <laughs> and don't you be seated this morning. You stand up and let the enemy know that you have victory. Amen. Come on.
hear this. Amen. The enemy told you you were lost. And Jesus said you are saved. Amen. The enemy says you were bound for destruction. Jesus said you are redeemed. That's right, that's right. The enemy says you will never be victorious. The Bible says that your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. The enemy says all kinds of negative things about you. The word of God says that your name is written down. You are bound for heaven. You have an eternal home. You have deliverance now. The stripes of Jesus healed you. You have victory. You have victory. You have victory. Amen. Hallelujah. So tell the enemy where to go. Get thee behind me, Satan. You have no habitation here. This body is healed. This mind is sound. My Lord has given me victory. I am heaven bound. I am saved. I am redeemed. And nothing can take that from me. Hallelujah. Nothing can take it from me. Praise the Lord. We bless you, Father. Praise God. Amen. Now, if you believe all of that, say amen and take your seats. Praise God. Oh, yes. Aren't you glad you are in the house of the Lord today? Hallelujah. We are on the right side of the dirt. We are breathing. We are healthy. We can get up and come into the house of God. We have brothers and sisters who are joining with us in worship and faith. Oh, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. So we praise him this morning. And while you are victorious, let's get ready to receive from you the Lord's tithes and your gifts and your offerings. The ushers are coming. And they are going to receive from you. And then we will pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, you are so gracious. So wonderful this morning to us. What a marvelous Father. What a gracious Savior you are. We give you the praise, the glory, the honor, the majesty, the dominion, the strength. We ascribe it all to you. For you alone are God this morning. And we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. Praise your name. And even now, Father, as we receive from your people this morning, their gifts, their offerings, your tithes, O oh Lord. We give you thanks for them. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them, O oh God. With every blessing that you have in store for them, we bless them. We bless their businesses and their jobs, their homes, their careers. Oh, Father, we are thankful to you that you have secured our future. You have watched over, oh God, the provisions that you have given unto us. We thank you for divine intervention in our lives, oh Lord. Keeping us, protecting us, providing for us. We thank you for your people, your, their jobs, their gifts this morning, Lord. And even as we lift it up to you, Father, we ask that you would bless it. You would stretch it. You would multiply it. You would cause it, Lord, to meet the needs of your house this morning. That there will be no lack. That there would be no lack, Father. No lack in the house. No lack in the homes. No lack in your people's lives. No lack, oh God, that everything will be provided. You told us to take no thought for tomorrow. For you will provide. And even as we have sung this morning, you said it, and we believe it. So we give you the praise now in the name of Jesus. And the people of God believed with me and said, Amen. And
Deep 